Hi everyone and welcome back to the Guidewell Insights Lounge. My name is Kate Warnock and we're coming to you live from the Oliver Wyman Health Innovation Summit and boy do we have a very special guest or two. We're here joined by Jacob Hoskins and Pepper. Jacob, welcome to the interview. Thank you very much. Happy to be here. We're happy to have you both here. This is a first for us for uh, the Guidewell Insights Lounge. So Jacob, you are the Director of Business Development for SoftBank Robotics and Pepper it's a, a humanoid robot. I was hoping yep. that maybe you could show us a little bit of what Pepper can do. Sure, happy to. So Pepper's a very popular humanoid robot deployed in Japan and Europe, and it's gonna be coming to the US uh, in the future. So happy to show off some of Pepper's capabilities. So this scenario is where Pepper is greeting a visitor as they're leaving the hospital. All right. Thank you for visiting Pepper Hospital. Before you go, can I ask you a few questions about your visit? Sure. On a scale of 1 to 10, how likely are you to recommend Pepper Hospital to a friend? Hmm, not the best day of 5. I am sorry we didn't turn your strong recommendation. Can you let us know how we can improve? It was really slow. I am sorry for the slow service. Can you please let me know which department had the problem so we can work to fix it? I had an MRI today, Pepper. I have alerted the manager of the radiology department so she can fix this issue. Would you like us to personally follow up with you on this issue? That's okay. We appreciate your business and are working hard to improve your experience at Pepper Hospital. Well, Jake, this is pretty extraordinary technology, obviously. It is. So this is an interesting use case. Why don't you give us a little bit more about how this might actually work in a real environment? Sure. So. We designed Pepper to gather real-time feedback for businesses, including hospitals, so that way they can see how it worked for the customers, did the customers have a great experience, and if they didn't, what went wrong, and that way we can send that data back to the hospital in this case, so that way they can fix it after only one or two people had a bad day at the MRI, instead of having a hundred have a bad day and impact the quality score. So it's very much a real-time sensor into okay. their business. Okay, and so is this something that you know Pepper would be just wandering the floors of the hospital? How, how would this be deployed? So the hospital would pick how it works best for their operations. Typically it would be near where people pass through, so right near the front, in the lobbies, that way people can be gestured, come on over, would you like to help us improve our hospital today? A lot of people say yes, they want to talk to a robot and also want to help the hospitals improve. So I, I imagine that one of the values of, of having you know, this, this really fantastic technology is um, you know, the appeal, it's the novelty of it, of but it's also in the consistency with yeah. which this is going to behave versus perhaps a person that's going to require breaks or, or might, uh, you know, might not capture all of the, the questions on their survey, that sort Correct. of thing. Yeah, so Pepper is going to ask the survey the same way every time that your statistician set it up to be asked. It'll ask that, it'll also give you back the data on who is answering the survey. So it would detect, you're an adult female, I'm an adult male, and my answers will get added to that. So it'll say, I had a bad day out of the MRI, and this male in his 30s had a bad day, but if you had a great day at orthopedics, it would be able to give that color. So if they're having a particular problem, let's say with females in um, radiology, or males, it can give that more guidance to the department head to fix it. And so you, you were indicating to us before, there's, there's yeah. actually a camera right here in, in the little forehead area. How does that work then? As you sure. said, they're capturing some of that, that demographic information. Correct, yeah. So the camera uh, looks at the people that come up to Pepper, and based on the analytics inside of Pepper, as well as what's in the cloud, it makes estimates of your age and your gender. It also knows how tall you are. And so that all that information gets bundled with your answers to the question in this case. Terrific. So it really is giving those that, you know, that needed insight to whomever is using this technology and, and how to improve. Yeah. Well, great. Well, you know, so Jacob, I was hoping you could share a little bit more. Where have humanoid robots already impacted sure. healthcare? Yeah, so humanoid, we're still in the early days of humanoid robots impact to healthcare, but we've seen very positive examples so far in Belgium where their peppers are being used to guide people around the hospital. Oh, how about it? It is. When you, when you go to a hospital, it's your first time. Yeah. You don't exactly know where it goes. It's stressful. A robot says, hey, I can help you find the right department. It really lowers your stress level and has you have a better day. How about it? Also being used in Japan to lead uh, exercises for elderly people. It's very important they exercise and Pepper can lead those. And then also in the future it's going to be able to alert caregivers of if somebody's falling behind on the exercises, they can have one of the nurses go check out the patient and say, hey, are you having a good day? Let me help you. So really this is a very, it's a very high tech but high touch 
sort of application, isn't it? It is. Yeah. I mean, peppers are designed to really help people, and then as you know, the people that are dealing with pepper need a handoff to a caregiver, that facilitates really easily. So pepper would say, hey, uh, one of the patients in the hospital needs help, please go help her. You know, we had um, some presentations earlier in the day that was talking about um, design in healthcare, and um, just looking at, at this, I'm wondering how many iterations of this design do you think happened before you know this? We we have this this model in front of us. Sure. So you're looking at about 10 years of design and R and D experience. And the cool thing about Pepper is that you're not just looking at a robot today, it's getting smarter every day because it connects to the cloud and our partners like IBM and Microsoft, as well as many others, are working hard to keep pushing the technology envelope. That technology then finds its way into Pepper, and the Pepper you're going to have in front of you next year is better than the one this year. How about it? Well, so it's such an exciting it thing. It is. It's very exciting. One final question for you, Jacob. What can healthcare learn from other industries in building a service model that include humanoid robots? Sure. So the key thing is being able to get information into your business and then take action on it. And so Pepper is able, really able to gather that information in and, and serve as an information endpoint for your technology. So the same things you're putting into your apps and you're giving apps to your customers, but you know usage isn't what it would like to be for every business. Pepper is easy. brings you in, teaches you about the product, service, whatever the business is trying to talk about and then delivers it, the information back to the business on what's resonating and what's not. And that process of iteration is standard in many industries, and I think healthcare is now, at least in the customer experience side, just embracing that. And Pepper is a way for them to gather that information and give it to the enterprise to really improve their operations. Well, it's a remarkable piece of technology, and we're so grateful that you found your way here to us at the Guybell Insights Lounge. Jacob, thank you for your time. Pepper, thank you for your time. I hope that you continue to watch our live stream here at the Oliver Wyman Health Innovation Summit. My name is Kate Warnock. We're going to be up soon with another guest. Keep watching. Thank you.